This could be the most important part of the swing that no one practices. Extension of the body in the backswing helps us create more power and encourages a compressed strike. So in this video, you'll learn exactly how to do this so you too can get the most out of your golf shots. Let's get stuck in. Okay, Chris, so one of the main keys that I feel like is very overlooked by players in terms of creating a backswing which is gonna help their contact is the extension component. Yeah. We're essentially feeling that the chest is tall at the top of the swing. So I'd like you to hmm. run us through why that is an important part of sequencing the motion. Yeah, I mean, you've got three motions in the swing, right? You've got lateral motion, you've got a vertical motion up and down, and you've got a rotary motion. Now you watch the long drivers, they're putting a lot of pressure into their trail for early that allows them to extend at the top of their swing. So they get this huge stretch cycle between their lead foot and their lead hand. From there, then they can push into the ground and create maximum force. Now, we're not long hitters, so um, we're trying to get something that's a little bit more in between. So ideally, you're trying to put a little pressure in there early and feel like you've got this big stretch and range of motion. You don't have to stand up like a long hitter, but if you can feel like you're stretching this, this trail side up as much as you can, the pressure is going to go from your trail foot into your lead foot, and that's going to allow you to stay closed in transition. That's going to allow you to pivot around your lead foot, and that's what a lot of players miss. Yeah, perfect. And we'll put some graphics up on the screen of some of the long drivers out there. Uh, really quality ball strikers up there as well. They aren't maybe the longest hitters, mm. but they're going to demonstrate the same movement of the body. So to really simplify this for the players at yeah. home, what we're going to do is we're going to show two opposite ends of the spectrum. We're going to do the player who, let's say, would be the uh, weakest ball striker. So they're the shortest and maybe the most crooked in terms of their ability to strike the ball first, the ground second. Yes. And then let's say more of a stock tour player model. So if I set up to this golf ball, Chris, what I want you to do is put a golf club up against my mm -hmm. side of my head here. And we would tend to see the player who would struggle with distance and low point controller where they strike the club and the ground would tend to move off the golf ball more so in this fashion, wouldn't they? Yes, that's exactly right. Now what's happened there is your energy is almost pushed down towards your trail side. The ground reaction force is in there too early and it's gonna push you back up and away from the ball. And therefore the bottom part of your arc was actually here and then ends up being somewhere here when you by the time you get to the golf ball. Yeah. So that's no good for contact. Yeah, for sure. And if we relate this to, I wouldn't say it's an everyday activity, but wood chopping, right? Yeah. We've got an ax in our hands. Uh, you could bend over and we've got a bit of wood down on the ground. I could simply just move my arms up and down like this. That might work for like X amount of attempts, but you get the real power from that extension. That's exactly body, right. right. And there is really a big shift of what we call pressure before any movement in the swing, isn't it? It's not that we're standing here, we move the arms and mm. the body kind of rolls along for the ride, which is where we see a lot of players get into this position. Yeah. Like Chris was saying so well before, we're gonna see a spike of pressure into the ground, which actually frees the body up to rotate, doesn't it? Yes, exactly. And then from this motion here, you watch the great players, they're almost holding their back to the target as the pressure moves laterally, vertically down into that this direction, that left shoulder will stay. If your left shoulder rips up too early, Mm. Right, the bottom part of your arc is then being compromised, and as you come into the ball, the face is wide open. That's where you get the right, right, and the left, left. So yeah, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so so turn to the top of your swing again. From there, you've got the extension up, but this then the pressure down, and then from there you can just pivot and hit the ball. Okay. So I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Yeah. A lot of players are then going to go to the range, right? They're going to swing to the top, and they go, okay. So when do I do this? Yes. What would you say to that? Well, if you think about where the club's traveling, right? The first motion is obviously away from the target and that's what gets the pressure into the trail foot. Mm -hmm. Now, as you get to about nine o'clock here, the club then starts to move towards the target, which is when the pressure starts moving down and forward. So Amazing. as you start getting to the top of your swing, that's when the pressure should start leading into it. That's when you can get into this, this lead foot and then the pivot can happen around that lead foot. Fantastic. So exactly what Chris was saying there is the motion is not two pieces. It's not a backswing load up and then come down. Right. You will find that the extension component of the golf swing, the upper body, feeling like it is getting tall, keeping the head relatively centered over the golf ball, then puts your body in such a position where you're able to get this feeling of coasting and falling down towards the target, which Chris was saying then, naturally. When exactly. You, when you throw a golf ball, if I'm pulling my arm back and I have the intention and I'm giving my attention out to something in the distance, my body is going to react by moving in that direction towards the target. Yeah. And I think when it comes back to the coaching component, not just the technical side, 
this is really where we put most of our attention on, right? Yes. If we've got a player in that watched 10,000 YouTube videos, mine are all right, and then you set up to it, and then they're over, okay, so I saw this one, this one, this one, this yeah. one, this one, and then they go, okay, now Chris and Carrot have just gone, extend, shift my pressure. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not really gonna work, is it? It's not gonna work. It has to be a fluid motion, and, and the, the timeless drill would be the step drill, yeah. right? Yeah. So you take your normal setup, you bring your left foot to your right foot, as the club's going back, then your pressure should go into it. Now, you, I've seen some very uncoordinated people who, who aren't able to do this. He was, watching, he was watching me before. Yeah. <laughs> but like, if you can start getting the understanding of that step motion as the club's moving back, like that's tremendously going to help your golf swing and the contact on the ball. Absolutely. So baby steps with this one, first stage that you could actually do, guys, is line all the golf balls up in a row like this and you can just start off because it works on many little pressure shifts and movements mm -hmm. of the body of actually just letting this golf club swing back and through as you walk through and hit little chip shots down there without stopping all in one little flow. Now, I can't hit those in a repeated fashion without that flow unless my body is moving in a correct fashion. Yeah. The extension of that level two of that drill would be exactly what Chris is saying is that when I set up to it, and I'll have a practice swing first so I don't hose it, have the narrow stance as the golf club is moving back. Pretty much as soon as I feel like my front arm here mm -hmm. is moving past level with the ground, Chris, yes. I'm gonna feel that my body is stepping and moving towards. Perfect. And I would like players to really focus on the component of keeping their chest away from the target for as long as they can, because we often see this one here, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just spin it open right away. Yeah. Give yourself room in the backswing to create the potential speed to get that necessary power and distance on that golf ball. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a practice swing here, Chris, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see how that golf club comes off. So as it goes back, forward, you can Beautiful. see that naturally is gonna shift my pressure forward. I'm feeling like as I do this, my upper body is getting nice and tall. We're not staying down yeah. off the ball. Feels very athletic, very powerful. It's beautiful, I'm just <laughs> loving it. <laughs> All right, let's show one down there. Yeah. That's striped. Yeah, mate, absolutely love it. Get Cheers. It. Cheers, pal.